Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be creating a very quick and easy yet very glam look. So I'm just showing you that you can have no time at all and still look half presentable. So this is basically how to cheat a glam look and look like you've spent hours doing your makeup when in actual fact you just haven't. I hope you enjoy the video, please subscribe to my channel and give this a like. Let's get painting my face. First off I'm going to take the Smashbox Photo Finish Water Primer and this is just a very nice and quick primer. Now I'm going to let that sink in. Now because I'm going to be doing a really simple eye look, I'm actually going to do my base first, whereas I normally do it the other way around, but today we're doing it a bit different and I'm taking the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in Santa Fe and I have no clue if this is the right colour for me, but we'll try it out, see how it goes. This is just a really good foundation for an everyday wear. It's not too heavy and it's not too light. It's like a happy medium. And luckily this colour looks like it matches. Now for concealer, I'm actually going to be taking a mixture of these two MAC concealer palettes. So I'm just going to mix a few shades together and conceal these lovely dark under eyes. This is quite a thick concealer, but because I am putting quite a small amount on and I'm using this fluffy brush, it kind of thins out a little bit. Also, as you can see, putting it on my eye because we're in a rush and we don't have enough time to properly prime our eyes. Then we are just going to rinse and repeat on the other eye. But that's all done, I'm just going to grab some powder and just sort of press it in to set that concealer because it it doesn't crease on me but for some reason my mascara and bits of eyeshadow seem to stick to it I assume because it's quite a heavy tacky concealer next to bronze I'm going to take this Kevin Aquan bronzer it's in the Celestial Bronzing Veil. Now this had a really beautiful highlighter up here but um, in time I used the highlighter and the bronzer less so yeah we're kind of stuck with the end bit now. Next for blusher I'm going to take this Bobbi Brown blush, oh no shimmer brick sorry, in Nectar and this is just a really pretty natural blusher. So just popping it on the apples and top portion of my cheeks. Add a bit of a shimmer in it so it does kind of highlight and blush in one but I shall be adding more highlighter. To highlight we're going to take this sleek highlighter in Sol Solstice. I'm probably butchering that. Use the lovely little brush. Not sure I ever will. Although these two look really white, they actually come out a lot more pink on the skin. I may have overglowed my nose. Oh god. I've given myself an electric strip. Let's go back to the foundation brush. Oh and look, it's gone. That easy. Now for quick brows, I'm going to be taking the NYX brow gel that I do not shut up about and then the, oh okay, all of the packaging has come off. Which is quite bad because this is Anastasia so you know, I expect more from your packaging, this really isn't that old. So I'm literally just gonna paint on some eyebrows really really quickly just giving them a little bit more shape and colour but nothing too crazy now that they are coloured in 
just going to take the clear brow gel and just basically force them just because we want to get that bushy brow look. We are just going to move on to the eyes and for the eyes we're going to be taking the Kat Von D shade and light eye contour palette. I'm just going to be sticking where I love in the warm section. I'm just going to take this nude colour and just pop it all over my lid. And then I'm just going to take this light peach I'd say it's not pink and it's not orange the light peach and shove it in it to the crease as we can see I'm not doing this very precisely I'm just chucking it it makes it sound really really professional doesn't it <laughs> definitely a beauty guru chucking your eyeshadow in your crease I'm now gonna put the exact same color onto my lash line. Now I am going to keep this look really light just to show that you don't have to wear really dark makeup to look glam. And that is the eyes finished. Yep, that's all I'm going to do. Just keep it nice and simple. Now we're going to stick on some mascara and this is the Estee Lauder? Yeah, Estee Lauder. Um, Sumptuous Extreme Mascara. This is a really nice lengthening mascara, so it doesn't really give you much volume, but it makes your lashes really long and lustrous. So, I was going to say, did I steal the words from there, but I didn't. I make the prettiest mascara faces. If you don't make these faces when you do mascara, then I don't know what you're doing. Now, to create the pretend I've got all dolled up look, we're going to stick some big lashes on. Now, I don't actually know where these lashes are from, but I shall find a link to them and put it down there, along with all the other products that I'm using. So this is basically what I do when I can't be bothered to get all dolled up. I'll just stick big eyelashes on and it looks like I've spent ages getting ready. My lash glue has managed to dry out like the seal bit, so I'm just going to... There we go, taking my dark duo glue and my eyelash thingy my bobby. Is there like a technical name for this, like eyelash tweezers or something? Let me know if there is. The thing you do, even though you know it probably makes absolutely no difference. And I still get really impatient and just stick the eyelashes on, I just can't help it. So I say, let it get tacky, but... I never actually do. See, that'll be long enough. When in fact, it won't be. But, you know. Who cares? I'm now just trying incredibly hard to make the lash band stick with my eyelashes. Just because we don't have any liner. And we don't want, like, a massive, obvious, fake eyelash. Me. I also do struggle with eyelashes. It's one of those things that you never know how they're going to turn out until you put them. Take two. Oh god, oh god, the inner corner's sticking. Eh. Yeah, go away. Oh, okay, I just stabbed myself in the eyeball. I think I've put the wrong eyelash on the wrong eye. That's bad, that's really bad, but you know, I'm not going to start taking it off, so we're just going to rock it. It's fine. Whoops. If anyone asks, I did this on purpose. Lashes complete, but I do feel that the bottom lashes need a little bit more mascara because next to the top lashes, they're looking a little bit dead. But I'm just going to take this mini tart Teased mascara just to get some more voluminous bottom lashes. Finally, we move on to lips. Now, I'm going to attempt to use this Sephora liner, and I say attempt. It was a retractable lip pencil that my mother decided to sharpen, so 
It's a bit dead. actually has kind of worked considering it doesn't even have a shape to it. Now I'm going to take a little bit of Kylie's liquid lipstick in Coco K. Just going to apply a little of that in the centre. I don't know how I feel about the smell. Like it's nice and it's sweet but then there's sort of like a gross after smell. So this is the finished look. I hope you like it. It's quite soft obviously apart from the eyelashes but I feel like if you want to do these lashes this would be a really good everyday makeup look for when you're feeling a little bit sophisticated but not too OTT. It's very light and natural colours so should definitely suit every skin tone and be easy to wear for any occasion. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of the makeup look. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and give it a like. Just to know that I'm not talking to myself. Well, I am, but as in someone's half enjoying it. Even if it's only a little bit. Only a little bit. Just, just just give it a like, just so I know. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.